Hello everybody, it's George and Charles here from Create Pro. Uh, Charles here has been working on some modifications for Catalina. Uh, we have a Mac Pro 5 Core One set up here um, with Mojave, which we're going to guide you through. But first, a few benefits from the modifications that Charles has been working on. Yeah, so basically what we can do is we can go straight from Mojave or High Sierra up to Catalina uh, without much effort at all. Uh, there are some people on Mac Rumors who've written the guides on how to do this. It's using something called OpenCore, but we've basically made it into a small sort of package sort of deal where it's just a couple of steps and you're on your way. So other than going to Catalina, what also it gives you is the ability to get the boot screen so you can select your drive um, without, an, without an EFI graphics card. So it doesn't, it hasn't have to be flashed or the original card. It could be a card such as a 560, 580, or 5700XT, which we support on Catalina. So like the psychotic cards people have been using for the last couple of years on Mojave. Yeah, so if you're already running Mojave, you're most likely going to be running some of these additional cards that will unpack some performance, as you were saying. That's right, yeah. And also the third benefit, uh, which is GPU acceleration. So uh, within Mac OS, with these cards like 560, 580, uh, you'll get hardware decoding and encoding H.264 and H.265 or HEADC. So within applications when you're using this in video editing like Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci, editing will be smoother, you won't have to transcode to ProRes or something like that, and exporting will be quick when using these codecs. So really, if you're running a Mac, and a lot of people that are video editors that are using these systems specifically for GPU upgrades, you know, you're getting additional performance from a software update. Yeah, this is something we've managed to add into the whole open core bundle without it harming anything else. Yeah, ideal. Right, so, so having a look at Mojave. Yes, so first thing we need is we need to mount the EFI partition, the hidden EFI partition on your main drive. So what we recommend doing is removing all the other drives other than the drive you're installing it on. Once, you're, uh, once you've done that, you need to go to the following link, which we'll link down below, to get a software called Open Core Configurator. Right, so the first step is we're going to mount the hidden EFI partition on our main drive. We've only got one drive at the minute, which is this one, Macintosh SSD. So just to make things simple. So we're going to open Open Core Configurator. We're going to go to the toolbar and go to Tools, and then Mount EFI. This will bring up a new window. As we can see here, this is our main drive here. If we hit Mount Partition, put a password in, it should mount the EFI partition here. We can open that. As we can see, there is an EFI in there. We can erase that as it's just got the stock uh, Apple EFI partition in there. So we're just going to delete that. And then we're going to go to our OC drive here, which is for Open Court, where we've got two different configurations. We've got one for dual socket systems and one for single socket. We have a dual socket here, so we're going to use that one. And then we've got two steps. So basically what we have to do here is we have to put the EFI in then we have to bless the drive, which we'll go through next. And then once we've done that, we then put up um, put in the second stage of it. In. So we're going to start with updates on, drag the EFI straight to the root of the EFI partition. So it'll go EFI, then EFI again. And then within there, you've got boot and OC. And within there, you've got some configuration files. Once that's, once that's done, we just need to shut down and get into recovery mode. Okay, so once we put the EFI folder in, we just have to boot in recovery to bless the drive. So once the machine is shut off, we're gonna turn it on and hold down Command R, and in a couple of minutes, this will be in recovery mode. And if uh, George wanted to run through the Mac Pro specs. Yeah, so the Mac Pro we've got here, so we're completely transparent. Um, we have the dual processor, X5690 Mac Pro. Uh, we have 48 gigabyte of RAM running on triple channel. Uh, the graphics card is a stock Sapphire, not flashed, um, RX 580. And then we just have a standard two and a half inch uh, SSD running. Um, you can use an NVMe PCIe SSD. It's not going to make a difference in this process. Not at all. Um, or a hard drive if you're still running one of those. So for step two, we need to, now we're in the recovery partition. We just need to find the um, EFI partition and bless it. So to do that, 
we just go to utilities in the top left and then open terminal. Once in terminal, we just need to find out the which partition. So we type disk util, space list, and that will show up the partitions. This is going to show you all of the partitions, isn't it? Yes, all the partitions. Uh, a lot of the ones aren't relevant. So if you scroll right to the top, we're looking for the one, our, our drive. We know it's a 256 gig drive. So we can see this here. And we're looking for the EFI partition, which we go across to the right. We can see it's disk 1s1. So you need to note that down and replace it in the command we've written below with your own. So we scroll back down again. We're just going to mount that partition now. So we're going to type in disk util mount space forward slash dev forward slash disk. And this is where we put in ours. So it's disk 1s1. Press enter. And now, now that uh, partition is mounted. Finally, final step in this part, um, in this bit is we need to bless the drive. So bless space dash dash mount space forward slash volumes with a capital V forward slash EFI all in caps space dash dash set boot all one word but with a capital V press enter and it's done. Once this is completed, we can close terminal. We're going to go to the Apple logo restart. And once it's restarted, it will show, um, instead of going straight into Mac OS, it's going to show us our boot screen loader. So we can select which drive um, to boot from on our standard graphics card, which doesn't have an EFI. So the recovery part of this is probably the most complicated. So there is a list of instructions in the description below, um, which you'll be able to read through, open on your phone and follow a bit easier. Yeah, that's just a second step. There's only three steps in total, really. And the first and third, just drag and dropping files. Yeah. So we're back in Mojave, and we do have the updates on EFI open core folder loaded, which is going to allow us to update the Catalina. What's the purpose of the updates off folder? So with the updates off folder, um, that allows us to have the GPU acceleration. You can't have updates on and GPU acceleration at the same time. So we just use the updates on folder when we need to update the OS. And once that's completed, we swap them over to enable all the features like GPU acceleration. So you can switch back and forth at any time yes, based anytime, on what you're using. Anytime yeah. you need to do this, you just have to mount the EFI partition using the open core tool, uh, configurator tool again, and open up the EFI folder and drag and drop the files in. That's easy. Yeah, very easy. So what next, Charles? Uh, so now we've done that, we can now upgrade to Catalina. To do that, we're just going to go to System Preferences, Software Update, and it's just going to check for updates quickly. Uh, yeah, now it's appeared the Catalina update has been has, has shown up, but we can click upgrade. So this has shown up just as it would most uh, software compatible systems. Yeah, just as However, if you're on, what's the none? Uh, it's just cosmetic. So this is going to work just as if you were on a natively um, Catalina supported Mac. So we're going to hit upgrade now, and what's that going to do? That's just going to download the DMG installer to your applications folder. Once that's done, we've, we're just gonna be able to run it. So it's just gonna take a few minutes to download, so we'll, we'll skip through this. Okay, Charles, so that's downloaded, what's okay. next? Right, as you see here, it says upgrade now still, but that's just gonna download the installer again. So don't worry about that. We're just gonna head to our applications folder where it has downloaded it. Scroll down a little, and you will see install macOS Catalina. All you've got to do here, double click it, and it will show up like a regular install. We're going to hit continue, agree to the uh, T's and C's, and it will show which drive to select to install that on. Obviously, it's just a standard install, so we select our main drive, hit install, enter your password, press enter, and now it's just going to do it. It'll run through, it'll restart, then finish it off like a standard, standard install. Yeah, so it's a completely standard install. Yep, There's right. no additional steps that you've got to do, got to do here. Um, if you've done a Apple software update, it's exactly the same. That's right. Okay, so we're booted back into macOS Catalina. Um, it's running as usual on the Mac Pro 5.1. Uh, we skipped through the update process. Didn't think you really need to see it. Um, it's just as usual. So now we need GPU acceleration. That's right. And to do that, we just need to swap the EFI folder in the hidden EFI partition for the second one we've made, which we'll put in the link below. And that will turn off updates, but it's okay, you can swap them over at any point. So we're going to go back to the open core configurator. 
when that's open, top left again, tools, mount EFI, and then we see our normal drive here, 256 gig, mount, check the password in. Once that's mounted, we can open it, and that's where our original one is, which uh, has GPU acceleration to save. So this is the exact same drive that we did before. Again, what we're doing is replacing the EFI with the updates on, with the updates off on. Yeah, so here we go. So we've got a dual soffit situation, so a processor. So we do need to make sure we are doing putting the correct file in. So if we want to go to updates off, which enables it. So we are going to go into here, delete this. And when you delete this, you will have to empty the recycle bin. Otherwise, because it's a very small partition, it will just say it's not that space. So just raise that, drag this in here. That'll take a couple of seconds. Once that's done, it is completed. We just did a restart. So what we're going to do now is show you the GPU acceleration. Um, Charles got a few demo files, right? Yeah, so it's just this one called Video Pop. I'll send you put a link in there as well. So if you launch this, it's uh, just a, like a video conversion tool, but it's got a neat little setting. Just run through this first time. Settings. And you can see we took that on in here. This only applies to this specific app. It is on in the background. Hit options. This is gonna you're gonna have to refresh these. Normally it will say no to have C and H264. As you can see, it's just running through checking here. So this is just a testing tool seeing if it's That's compatible. Right. Yeah. That's right, yeah. You see, so we've got uh, we've got encoding or acceleration for H264 here, and it's now checking it, have C or H265. And there we go, that is available now. There are a couple of byproducts of this open core modification as well. You've probably noticed this in my hand here. Um, we're going to do this in another video, but the Thunderbolt Titan Bridge card with the custom EFI that's been floating around does also work. Yeah. It, do, it does require the open core method uh, if you want to hot plug. So if you want to be able to remove a device and add it while the system's on rather than warm rebooting, which is, which is nice. And then the other thing is Big Sur. Now we've uh, got a developer account and we've downloaded the Big Sur beta and we have that running on this 5.1 with the Bless drive, all working perfectly. Yep, just going to show you now. So just to recap, this is what we've been through. So basically, it's, you just have to put the EFI open core folder into the hidden EFI partition on your main drive, bless the drive in recovery, and then go back in to Mac OS after you've upgraded Catalina and just put the second EFI folder into replacing the first one. And then, then, then you're done. Yeah, nice and easy. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, drop a comment, if you've got any questions, head over to the Create Pro website. We've got a forum on there with an active community and us guys are always on there answering any questions. Um, we are going to have a written version of this on our website as well, just in case any of this has been particularly hard to follow.